Hey folks, Dave Beanhart here with W Designs. So today I'm going to uh, just cover a quick thing uh, that I've been working on. So I don't know if you guys uh, know anything about the Omtech and the laser cutters here, but uh, the Omtech laser cutter has a uh, big hole in the back, which I'll show you in a minute, which is your ventilation. It sucks all the smoke uh, out of the machine away from your material and I uh, wanted to improve upon that because I felt that it could be done a little bit better. So what I did is ultimately design this here. So this plugs into the hole in the back. There's duct work here and it goes through a vent. Uh, I went ahead and uh, designed this and laid it out in Fusion 360, sliced it up with Lubon 3D and uh, and then here we go, we got this. So the, the method that I used for doing this and creating this is called rapid prototyping. Uh, so what I did is I designed a model last night. And then today I came in and I went ahead and uh, cut everything up on the laser, taped it together with blue tape just to uh, see how it fit. And I hooked up my, my back piece to it. Actually, I guess this one was the first one. I had started out with actually a 3D printed piece here. I found a way to do it simpler than that, so opted not to go with that. Uh, but 3D printed this one, realized that you know some of the measurements I took uh, weren't as great as they could have been because there were some things I didn't take into consideration. I didn't notice that one of the motors was hanging down a little bit and that there was a... Uh, uh, some a plate down at the bottom that was kind of getting in the way of things so i needed to make a few adjustments here so the nice thing about it is i was, went ahead and just marked up the piece marked up here that i needed to make a change on the bottom dimensions marked up here that i needed to make a change in the top and went about making version number two so version number two does not have that uh, plastic mount on it because I'm using it for version number three. Actually, it's version number four, uh, but we'll get into that here in a minute. So everything was good here. These dimensions were good. These dimensions were fairly good. Again, uh, there was one component that I didn't quite uh, account for enough, so I was bumping it up here on the top. So I opted to go ahead and make this a little more shallow, reduce the height of this a little bit, uh, and then we went ahead and made this one. So I did make a version 3. Uh, version 3 was after I updated the software. And uh, it's probably not a great idea to update software in the middle of a project because... Uh, it changed some of the settings, changed my, my uh, wood thickness to 3.2 millimeters instead of 5 millimeters. I didn't notice until it was all cut and I was trying to put it together and it wasn't going together very well. So I went ahead and tossed that one and didn't make any changes except to make it 5 millimeters in the software and uh, went ahead and did it again. So here we go. So why don't you come with me and... I will show you how this thing goes in the laser. So what we've got here, and I've got the bed dropped down already. So we've got this hole back here. And uh, that's what vents the, uh, the, the smoke out. Now the bed is normally up to about this height here. So it's up pretty high. It's not too far below these lights here. Uh, so what that's doing is it's just sucking in general all around inside the cabinet and getting smoke out. Well, I didn't figure that was probably a very uh, efficient way to do it. So I went ahead and made this to where it will pop into that hole there. And I have removed the stock fan. Uh, so there's no stock fan in here. And that fits nice and snug. It's it's in there now. So now what I can do is I can go ahead and raise the bed up. Go ahead and do that. You'll see here that 
it is sitting right behind it. So what's going to happen here is when the material is in the laser cutter here, let's just grab a piece of material. When it's in the laser cutter here, it is going to smoke underneath. And you can see down here, I've got standoffs. So it's going to pull the smoke out of here, out from underneath the material, and it's going to pull the smoke out away from above the material. And really, your, your head focal length is always going to be up here. Now, granted, this is a little bit off, uh, and we can go ahead and set that focal length real quick. Uh, and then you'll be able to see just a little bit better. Now I've got a uh, different head assembly on here right now. So the head and the lens is further away from the material. So uh, it's about 41 millimeters away from the material. So it's a bit far. Uh, but that works pretty well. I, I like the head unit and uh, I'll probably keep using that. I also have a two inch lens in here instead of a 1.5. So you can see right there that uh, that smoke is just going to evacuate straight back here. I already feel better airflow. I've already done a test, but we can go ahead and do another one. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get a piece of scrap wood. I just so happen to have one right here. We'll set that on there. And I am just going to take a few rectangles here. Nothing, nothing fancy. Just something that's going to generate some smoke. And, uh, and we'll go ahead and run that real quick. You'll be able to see how quickly and easily that smoke evacuates. So, fire this up. Like I said, nothing special. It's just some rectangles here. So you can see that smoke is getting pulled straight back. So it does not have an opportunity to really linger about. Doesn't hang around down here on the bottom. You can see that up there as well. You can see that it's just getting pulled away. And I'll go ahead and stop it here as well. So give me a second. So once we stop it, you can see how quick that smoke evacuates. It's gone. Now, uh, if any of you open the lid right after you finish cutting, typically a waft of smoke will come out. Uh, at least that's been my experience on here. So I can feel a big difference there. And I'm quite pleased with uh, version 4. I glued it together with uh, CA glue, and then I taped up all the seams with uh, the metal duct tape uh, that is used for uh, duct work in a home. Figured that it sealed up pretty good. Uh, the whole laser cutout probably took about 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, actually, probably less than that. It was probably about 15 minutes by the time it was done for this last panel. Uh, there's two panels in this 55 watt laser, which is really a 50 watt laser. If you go look up all the specs and all that stuff, but uh, you all probably know all that already. So um, something else I'll probably get into at some point in the future is the standoff. So you can see I'm using a metal bed, flat metal bed, really easy to clean up. Uh, all I have to do is spray it down with some isopropyl when I'm done, and uh, it's good to go. Um, and just wipe it down. I've also got these standoffs here. A lot of people use these spikes for standoffs, and it's great. A lot of people mount them into grates. A lot of people drill holes into their plates, mount them into the plates. 
what I've noticed in my experience is when I do that, uh, or when I did that in the past and had them on the plate, when I'd go clean the plate uh, with an isopropyl on a rag, I'd bust my knuckles on them and it does not feel great. So what I opted to do is go ahead and get a magnet that already had a hole in it. Uh, these take M3 screws, went ahead and got a longer M3 screw, put it through the magnet, stuck it into this. There you go. It is great. Uh, got a bunch of those, got uh, about 40 of them. So I can use them uh, all over the place. Now, uh, again, all I have to do to clean the bed, pop all these off. These are about uh, an inch tall. Uh, I think they're 22 millimeters. I'd have to go re-measure them again. But um, that's not terrible. So, um, no, actually, they're about an inch. It's about 26 millimeters, it looks like. So, um, I'm going to actually modify the square for the corner so that this actually comes up a little more so that it will still catch it uh, there. But these are awesome because you can just move them around, get them where you need them to be, and... Uh, and you're set. So, all right. I hope some of this information is useful to you. And uh, we'll chat more later. Thanks for joining